coach, today's game felt like there might have been a few more emotions. I saw you get your hands up when Kobe drew that charge. I was just curious what tonight's win meant for you guys. Yeah, I mean, that, that's something we want to celebrate, these charges. Um, you know, I, I don't know that my reactions are any different. Um, there were some things to react to tonight that were really good. And uh, obviously the effort we had on the defensive end. And yeah, that's a big play. Kobe taking charge. We had a few others that we tried to take and didn't get them. Um, you know, but those are, as I said, that, that's team defense. And speaking of that, it seemed like everybody played much more connected tonight. There was a lot more communication. Um, I'm curious what you saw from that that maybe helped you guys pull this out. Yeah, I mean, we, we were in the film room for a while the other day and just trying to focus on the things that I mentioned, you know, pregame, the, the things that we could control. And, um, you know, communication is a big part of that. So it was, uh, you know, it was good to see us. You know, you're not going to be perfect, but there was definitely a focus, um, you know, on the defensive end. And, uh, and then I thought, you know, late offensively when they made, you know, they made a run, we really were poised. And uh, floor was space. They started trapping, pick and roll got us early on that and then we reacted well to it. DJ hit JJ in the pocket. Hunt made a great move, you know, attacking the rim in that situation. Some good things on the offensive end as well. Hey coach talking about DJ, he looked like he kept the team in flow tonight, almost had a triple double. What do you think about his thoughts about him? Ready to show tonight. Yeah, you know, we try to play, you know, we want to play a certain style throughout the game, um, with the ball moving and playing side to side and also playing pick and roll. So finding a balance of that, you know, is good. And um, Orlando's really good defensively. You know, if, if, you, uh, if the ball stops, they're just so big and they get shifted. I, I thought you saw that early in the game when we were driving into a crowd at times. And sometimes, you know, against them, that's, that's really hard. You know, you have to make a quick decision play before you get in there. And, uh, those guys trusting each other it was good to see, and, and obviously DJ um, was catalyst for a lot of that. One point I saw you go nose to nose with DJ coming into a timeout. What was what was going on there? I, I mean, I, I love going nose to nose with him. It's usually a good thing or a bad thing. It doesn't matter. It's like that communication is, is important, and uh, you know, one of the things that he and I have talked about is his discipline on the ball. You know, he, he can make plays, but he's, because of that, there's times when he makes a play that, that, that and it's a lower percentage play. If he doesn't make it, um, it compromises our defense. And he can, he can do both. You know, he, he has the ability to defend the ball and also to, like we said, fall into steals. You know, I thought you saw a few of those tonight where he's getting his hands on balls, but he's not, he's not out of position. Might have been that. He cut through that 18-1 to run to close the third quarter, obviously a turning game around. Yeah, you know, we had, there, that group was playing really well. And, uh, you know, it, it started on the defensive end. And we talked a lot about, you know, trying to run. You know, but you have to get stops really to run. And uh, I, I didn't think we were running. You know, there's jogging and there's running. And, you know, when we run, it opens the court, and particularly against against those guys because they are so big. If you can attack them before they get set, um, you know that, that's the you know, percentage chance of scoring goes up. But again, I thought our defense created our offense, and we talk a lot about. I thought we we were we took the right shots. You know, um, sometimes even if it's one pass, or if it's you know walk up off the dribble. DJ had a couple of those. I had a couple of those. Um, if you don't shoot that shot, there's a chance you don't get something better. Um, and then obviously if you're not open, the ball's got to move. Coach, Clint Capella, he obviously isn't back to his mm -hmm. normal self that he was prior to the injury with time miss. Just what are you seeing from him as he tries to get back to his normal form? And what's he having to kind of, you know, battle through to get back into that shape? Yeah, well, I, I have so much confidence in Clint, you know, as a player. You know, as a person with his focus and you know that there he's close on a, a few things and, and he doesn't need to get frustrated you know his timing will come and that's hard 
you know, when, you, when you're working your way back from, from an injury, and sometimes it just takes a little time, but we really need him. He knows that. His teammates know that. And, uh, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll be, his timing will get better and better, you know, as, as, he, uh, as he plays more. And I think your conditioning, too, you know, that, that's tough, especially when you're big. You know, he's asked to do a lot. You know, we've got him out on the floor. He's got to get back. He's got to run. And, uh, you know, that'll keep improving as well. Coach, I wanted to ask about Kobe and his impact on both sides of the ball. Um, he had that nice driving kick to Bogey, then the outlet pass to Jalen, and then he had a couple steals on Cole Anthony. Just what did you see from him tonight? Well, first, it's, you know, I've said this before. I'll say it again. You know, the job that Ryan Schmidt is doing in, in the D-League, we've got so much confidence that when our guys play better, they get better. And there's still, there's still this tendency um, from everyone to, to think of that as some sort of, you know, you know you're like banished or something, you know? You get the first pick in the major league draft, they don't go right to the major leagues. You know, they work their way in, and it doesn't matter if they throw 105 or not. You know, you learn how to pitch. And uh, particularly for a guard, um, and in Kobe's case, a guy that's been a combo in a lot of ways, to, you know, to, to be, have the ball in his hands, and you know when he's playing with, he's going to play a little differently in College Park than he is here, and kind of finding that that feel, you know, that pass you mentioned, and then the shot. You know, he didn't make the one against his own, but they went under and he shot. And, you know, and I told him, good shot, because um, we believe he can make that. But the biggest thing, you know, is the way he defended, and that's real, that's consistent, and you know we know you can do that. That's why we have you know, those absolutes, those things that we can do whether we're tired or whatever the case may be. And he really moved his feet a couple times. He recovered, got his chest in front, and then he was able to make some plays too because he was in position. Coach, with the injury bug being like it is for the team, what's been some of the message to Kobe and Bruno to tell these guys about uh, Nick Vanner mentality? Yeah, you know, I think that happens throughout the course of the year, you know, and it just, it becomes really real. You know, sometimes when those things are being said, um, for a player, it's hard. You know, you get be ready, be ready, and then you don't play. Um, be ready, be ready, you don't play. But pretty soon you play, and that's when that work that guys put in is important. And you know, I've got confidence in those guys. And they're not going to be perfect. You know, either of the other guys out there, but you know, they're competing, and that's the biggest thing. Coach AJ has two games under his belt in College Park. Just yeah. curious if you've seen any. His games are any of uh, how he's Yeah, yeah, we actually texted last night. And, um, you know, he, I think he was six for nine from three, five for nine. Um, but he was talking about his defense. And, you know, that's that opportunity to play, you know, is, is just that's how you get better, you know, you get reps. And, uh, you know, we, we, Beats there, Kobe's been there. She, Bruno went down there and played a game. Um, Seth, you know, he's played there and come up and play. So that's a big part of what we want to be. And uh, you know, hopefully, I think our guys understand it. I hope you guys understand it. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Thanks.